Mm-mm-mm-mm-mm. Look at that amazing kitty. There it is. There it all is. So let me tell you what I have in this time. I have my my rice. This is jasmine rice, which I never heard about. I bought it. I'm like, oh, that's interesting because it's like a combination of jasmine and basmati rice. I put tons of like spices in here. Like I have uh, turmeric. Yeah, I have turmeric, which makes it yellow. Cumin, fennel, uh, maybe a little bit of cardamom, and then some ghost pepper powder to make it spicy, of course. I have my curry paste here, which uh, has, let's say I put some onion, garlic, green beans, green bell pepper, and spinach. So everything green, and I have it topped with serrano peppers, and there's, and there's lime juice, on t- I mean lemon juice on top of this. And I have my green avocado here with sesame seeds on top and some lemon juice on top of that. So we're going to try a taste test now. This thing is pretty spicy. This this thing is pretty good. This is the final serving of it, actually. So let's try a little bit. Here we go. Ready? Here comes the airplane. <laughs> who, who remembers that when uh, you were like <laughs> one year old? Uh, now, I don't know how old you are when, when that sort of stuff happened. I don't know. Let's just drop that. Here we go. Uh, Mm. It's very creamy, spicy, but it is very creamy as well. I think the, the base of it is like a coconut milk or something. I don't know. I don't ever make this from scratch, you know. I, I buy like the pre-made sauce that I add all this stuff to. So, tofu is definitely good with this. If I need to buy some more tofu and add it to my curry meals because that definitely adds some protein as opposed to this but this is still good makes it makes like three servings the whole jar with everything that i add to it so the spiciest part is honestly the serranos that are on top that tends to be the spiciest part and i think what makes it also really really good is the spinach spinach yes spinach tend tends to be just really really good here we go. Another, another bite. Oh, and there's cilantro in it, too. So literally everything green is in here. It's very tasty. Pretty spicy. I have my milk here, which is not green, unfortunately. Um, then what else? Yeah, I guess if, uh, green, yeah, you want to make sure that you cook everything, you know, enough that you don't want things to be too crunchy and everything. Like the green beans usually take a pretty long time and the bell pepper takes a long time. So if you cut it up pretty finely or like the green beans, like, like this size, give it enough time to cook and everything and simmer with everything that tends to make it, you know, pretty pretty soft and then you want to add I cook all the vegetables first before I add any sort of the sauce in and I always put a lid on top so then it kind of steams a bit and I add some water usually to it and help it steam and then the spinach the whole bag of spinach it may look like a lot but once you add it it starts like you know you can have all this and it's like ooh, very very little bit of spinach but yeah I really like the addition of the spinach in it really really good so I'm going to finish this now. You have a great one. Hopefully you enjoyed this. Hopefully it made you hungry to want some amazing, amazing curry meal. I want to know what your favorite type of curry is, if you've had it before. Even if it's not Indian curry. This is Indian curry. But if you want, if you have like Thai curry, you know, or Japanese curry, there's different types. You know, so I like Thai curry as well. Japanese curry I've never really had too much of, so I don't really know too much. But yep. You all take care. Have a great one. And I'll catch you later. Bye-bye.